So I want to do a live Q&A with you guys, and I want to talk about how to save any marriage issue that you're facing um, in six months or less. Hey, Thrivers, how are you doing? Welcome back here to the Thriving Marriage Facebook group and to our amazing community. I want to thank each and every one of you for being here on this live stream with me as we fulfill our mission to help save marriages around the world. As you know, my name is Heather Choate, and I'm the co-owner and founder, and I'm excited to be here with you guys today. And I want to talk about how to save any marriage issue that you're facing um, in six months or less. So go ahead and put in the comments here. And if you're watching the replay, go ahead and put in the comments what your biggest marriage issue is. And we'll do a little bit of a live Q&A together, which is going to be super powerful. Now, how can I say that you can solve any marriage issue in less than six months? Well, as you guys may know, we've been doing this for a long time and we've helped tens of thousands of couples now save their marriage from divorce. So if you're dealing with an issue like your partner's having an affair, maybe they've had multiple affairs at this point. Maybe they're saying, I love you, but I'm not in love with you. Maybe they're unwilling to work on the marriage with you. Maybe they're pushing for divorce, or maybe you just have lingering issues that just tend to not be resolved, but tend to recirculate, right? So if you guys stay to the end here, I'm going to give you guys a special um something we've never done before as a guide to help you break through that and help you take the next step. Totally free guide, but you got to stay to the end to get that. So make sure you do that. So as I was here in the group, I'm just going to go rapid fire through some of the challenges that I've seen. And again, as you're watching live, go ahead and leave a comment and let me know what your challenge is. And I'll do a bit of a and a with you guys to show you how you're able to go from where you are right now uh, to where you really want to be in your marriage. And it takes less time than you think. And we do that without working on yourself, without wasting years in therapy, and without having to try to figure everything out completely on your own. One of the biggest mistakes that we see couples making um, or people making when your spouse wants out is that you think that you just need to work on yourself. So I want to touch on that for a minute while I'm waiting for your comments to come in. So raise your hand. Let me know in the comments if you've been told you need to work on yourself to save your marriage. I know I was told that, and over the past several years, it's become more and more of this popular advice given, right? And I understand where it's coming from, because it is true that you can only do what you have control over, right? And you cannot change your partner. So it's good and right to focus on what you have control over, which is yourself. And I'm all about personal development. But here's the reality. When you're trying to work on yourself, you know, we would talk to you guys and we're like, how are you doing working on yourself? And you'd be like, oh, I'm doing great. Like I'm changing these bad habits. I'm not drinking anymore. I stopped having an affair. I'm listening more to my spouse. I'm working out. I'm meditating all of these things. And we're like, great, good job. Well, how is your marriage? And inevitably your face would fall and you would say, oh, we're still getting a divorce. Does that sound familiar? Right. So the reality is, is that most people are working on themselves. Most people are trying to improve themselves in some way. But if everyone out there that was working on themselves, if that was a solution in and of itself, then all of those people would have a happy marriage, right? But the reality is that all those people that are working on themselves, they don't have a happy marriage. (laughs) And so in and of itself, it's not the solution to save your marriage. Personal growth, like I said, is good for you. And we're all about learning and growing and overcoming our challenges. And those are all really important things that will absolutely bless and benefit you. So I'm not saying don't do that. I'm just saying don't think that in and of itself, it's the solution to save your marriage. What we found that no one else is even talking about is the solution is to change your spouse's story and their beliefs about you the narrative that they've created over the past weeks, months, and sometimes years about you and the relationship. And unless we change that story, they will not come back to you. And these issues will not be resolved. And the reason why is because these stories are so ingrained in us. We hold them as A, a self-defense mechanism to prevent us from feeling further pain, or B, so that we don't feel as much guilt or shame 
about what we're doing. So either way, it's a way to kind of lessen the pain or the discomfort that we may be feeling, that your spouse is feeling. And because we want to protect ourselves from any kind of pain or discomfort, we hold on to those stories really, really strongly. But what we do here at High Thrive Coaching is help you to let that story go that your spouse has about you. And we do that through our path process. That biggest challenge that most of you are facing, that your spouse wants a divorce, they want separation, they say, I love you, but I'm not in love with you. How we help you overcome that is take you through that path process. And the first step is to always get their perspective. So the P in path stands for perspective. What is my spouse really wanting here? Because like Mark Johnston, my partner here says, no one wakes up with like a goal to get divorced. Like no one wakes up and just says, oh, I think that's what I'm going to do today. It sounds really fun. It's on my bucket list, right? Like no one does that. And so the reality is, is that your spouse has a reason that's led them to this decision that they're making or as they're considering this, right? And so when we know what they're really wanting to gain from this, then that gives us a huge amount of perspective into what's really going on. And then we can uncover the root issues that are causing that to come up for them. And as we heal those and help them see that they can be happy with us, that they can have their needs met here, and that that's something that they desire, they'll naturally be drawn back to you. The problem is that most of us tend to focus on the symptoms of the problem, not that root issue, because that's where the pain is. They say, I'm not in love with you anymore. I don't feel that way. I don't, I, you know, it's maybe better for the kids if we get divorced. I love you, but I'm not in love with you. I'm done. I'm tired of doing this. You won't listen to me. You won't change. Or I see that you're changing, but the change, eh, it's probably just temporary. <laughs> if I come back to you, you're probably going to go back to the way that it was and I'm going to be hurt. And so I'm just done with that. Right. And so what we want to do is instead of trying to prove that that story isn't true about us, which most of us do, right? Let me know in the comments if that's what you do, uh, or prove that this isn't true about us. We get defensive or we demand that they try to change or we manipulate them to try to get them back. Maybe we play the mind games. We take the kids away for a little while. I mean, I've seen it all. I have seen it all. And I always cringe a little bit inside when people get into a lot of that demanding and manipulation. And I understand where you're coming from because your heart's desperate. When my husband backs away and we've been married 16 years, he tends to be the one that withdraws. It freaks me out. And so I tend to be the one that pursues and tries to resolve things. But what happens if I do that is that it only pushes him further away, right? What about the pleading, the desperation? Please don't go. Please don't do this. I'm begging you. Please give me another chance. Please, 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 right? Like begging, like please, please give me another chance. Is that that energy of desperation and fear, again, does not feel safe to your partner. And they don't feel heard or respected or understood by you. Because honestly, when you're coming from that place, and I get it, You're in a place of what's in it for me. I'm scared about me. I don't want to be alone rather than really trying to deeply understand your partner and where they're coming from. And so what we help you do is we guide you on exactly how to emotionally process through this situation. And this is something that you're not taught. And so if you're like, oh my goodness, yes, Heather, I've been doing that and it hasn't been working and I can see that now, now I can realize like, yes, this has been pushing my spouse further away. Yeah, this really hasn't been resolving anything. Then give yourself some grace because you simply haven't known up until now. But the good news is, is that now you can learn how to do things in a new way and we'll show you and guide you every step along the way so that you can navigate it well, because it's something you aren't taught, but now you can learn. And when you start to do some new things in some new ways, you're going to get some new results. You know, you guys see here in the Thriving Marriage Facebook group, all of the wins that are posted all the time. And I love it. And I'm so, so grateful. I mean, we just had our client Ray get remarried over Thanksgiving break. You know, we're here in mid-December. It was just a few weeks ago. 
they were literally completely divorced and they just got remarried. So it's amazing and it's incredible to see that miracles can happen, but it's not even really miracles. It's just science. <laughs> like it's just doing some new things in some new ways. To you, it's going to feel like a miracle. To Mark and I in here at High Thrive Coaching, it's like just another Tuesday or just another Wednesday. And it's amazing and we're grateful, but we know the process that it takes to do this. We're like the ICU for marriages. We do this every single day. And one of the things that I love that I heard said is that you cannot read the label when you're inside the bottle. So all of us are inside the bottle of our own marriage and we need someone that can help us to read the label, right? So that we can know where to go from here. And you need that expert that knows how to read the label, how to diagnose the situation and how to prescribe the right scientific treatment to heal this thing and get you where you really want to be. And it isn't about force. It isn't about coercion. It isn't about controlling or manip manipulating your spouse in any way. It's about doing it in a way that feels good to both of you, that feels like a magnet where you're just naturally drawn back together. And it feels good and it feels right and it feels lasting because it is. And our clients that have saved their marriage now, they stay together. And they talk about how incredible their relationship is now and how the relationship that they wanted and they dreamed about and they hoped for and wished for all of those years, way back in the first early days of their relationship or way back early in their life, they now have. And it's a reality for them. So I just want you to know that it is possible, even if everyone else is telling you that you should just give up, that you should just move on, that you should just respect yourself, right? Right. I want you to pay attention to that quiet voice inside of your heart. Maybe it's telling you that you need to do this. Maybe it's telling you that you need to explore this, that you want to know that you gave your marriage everything that you could and that you can live with the peace that you don't have any regrets, that you learned from these challenges, that you gained some new skills that you just simply haven't had up until now. So my friends, I will be answering your questions here as you leave them, and I will respond to every single comment that we get. All right? Promise. <laughs> so please leave your situation there, and I will go and answer your questions. And as a next step for you guys, I'm going to give you guys a resource here. It's a free guide that you can use talking about the steps to save your marriage on your own. Because yes, you can do it on your own. I can say that with absolute integrity, with every fiber of my being. I understand that when your spouse pulls away, it feels like they have all the control here, right? And that they are calling all the shots. But the reality is, is that you have more influence here than you could possibly realize. And when you start to do these new things in some new ways, and we guide you step by step on exactly how to do that, you're going to be amazed at how fast these issues that what took maybe weeks, months, or years to resolve are resolved within a couple hours sometimes, within a couple days. It's amazing. So I will leave the link there to get that free guide here in the comments. So go ahead and grab it and use it right away in your marriage. So above all, know that the life that you want, the marriage that you want is a decision. It's a choice. And when you choose it, when you say there's something inside of me that's like, I, I need to do this. I need to have this. I'm tired of living in pain. I'm tired of being stuck. I'm tired of being overwhelmed and confused and full of fear and frustration. I'm done. I'm ready to experience a new life and a new reality. When you make that level of commitment to yourself and that level of decision, I can promise you the way will appear. The door will be opened. Ask and you shall receive. So my heart, my love, my appreciation flows out to you. Thanks for listening to The Thriving Marriage, your A to Z blueprint for not just surviving marriage, but thriving. Until next time, my friends, thrive on.